go ahead and start with the, the case. It's Corsair's 5000D Airflow. Plenty of room, enough room to have six intake fans. I got my three radiator fans, and then I got the exhaust fan in back for a total of 10 fans in there. So plenty of room for that, and there's also plenty of room in the back for cable management with all those fans. And then next is the motherboard. I went ahead and upgraded my motherboard to an ROG Asus Hero 8 Wi-Fi edition. I picked this up just this past week when I went on a trip to Disneyland with my family. And believe it or not, Micro Center is about eight miles away from Disneyland, so it was quite a treat. We went there after I went to New Port Beach. So on the way back from Newport Beach to Disneyland, Micro Center is like eight miles away. And so it's like a a paradise for enthusiasts. I'd never really been there before just because I live in the Sacramento area. And so I was able to purchase this motherboard. It was also on Prime Day and Micro Center price matched the motherboard for me. And I saved about $100 off that. And of course, sticking with the AM4 build, I got the top the Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 cores, 32 threads. It more than meets my needs for gaming. I do light gaming, but mostly I do content creation. So the 5950X is, uh, was lower in price earlier this year, so I went ahead and picked one up. And to cool the Ryzen 9 5950X, I went ahead and I switched out my Noctua cooler and I bought a Kraken Z73 AAO with that digital display that's really really cool in my opinion and it keeps this 5950x in check easily and for the ram i picked up four sticks the two kits of 2x16 for a total of 64 megabytes rated at 3600 megahertz which is more than enough for what i do for my gaming and content creation and for storage i do have a 970 evo plus boot drive 500 gigabytes and then i also have a crucial two terabyte hard drive for storage which is behind that massive gpu right there and for the gpu you probably saw in the intro of this video is a Noctua or Asus is Noctua 3070 GPU which is just awesome and again more than meets my needs and what I love about that is this thing's cooled off by two Noctua fans on the bottom 120 millimeter and speaking of fans if you've been a subscriber to my channel or seen any of my videos I'm a huge fan of Noctua and so I went ahead and I purchased 10 Chromax Black Noctua fans the 120 millimeter style and this is what I consider a good investment because these things should last for years and years to come and not only do I love playing the Steam games but I also love playing and recording my gameplay on a PS4 Pro so I did get Elgato's 4k capture card and it, that thing is just awesome and really the only thing that's left is a power supply i do have a gold rated evga 650 watt so i was thinking about getting an 850 or a thousand watt for future upgrades but i think i'm going to hold off on that because i intend on keeping this rig for at least another two years like i said i'm going all in on this AM4 build and I think it's gonna last me for quite a while. 